Hey guys, it's Courtney, and today I'm going to show you my Booktubeathon 2017 TBR. This is actually the first time that I've ever participated in the Booktubeathon, and so I'm really excited about it. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Booktubeathon, I will be leaving a link to the Booktubeathon YouTube channel down in the description box below. There are basically seven challenges that you have to try to complete within a week, starting July 24th and ending July 30th. Challenge number one is to read a book with a person on the cover. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book. Challenge number three is to finish a book in one day. Challenge number four is to read a book about a character that is very different from you. Challenge number five is to read a book completely outdoors. Challenge number six is to read a book you bought just because of the cover. And challenge number seven is to read seven books. So it sounds simple enough, but the last challenge might be a bit difficult for people who are busy all the time, like myself. I have a lot going on, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to complete the seven books, but I would love to try. The first book that I chose is Wake by Lisa McMahon, which can fall under the category of reading a book with a person on the cover. And for my hyped book, I have chosen The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. And this is actually a pretty short book. It's just like... It's just over 200 pages, and I feel like this is something that could easily fall under the category of finishing a book in a day. It's so short, and it would be a very quick read. I feel like this is probably one that I should read last, because I know this is going to be a really emotional story. It is set in Berlin during the times of the Holocaust, and this is probably going to be a very, very emotional read. So I didn't pick a specific book for challenge number three, which is to finish a book in one day, because I feel like any of the books that I've chosen could be read in one day. For a book with a character that is very different from yourself, I have chosen The Last Apprentice, Revenge of the Witch by Joseph Delaney. This is the first book in a 13 book series, and I've actually read all 13 books, but I started this series many years ago. I was like 11 when I started this series, and so since the last book in the sequel trilogy is coming out in September, I figured I would just start reading these from the beginning. This story is led by a male protagonist, and so he's different for me obviously because I'm a girl. I loved these books so much and I'm so excited to be rereading it. So for challenge number five, which is to complete a book outdoors, I didn't choose a specific book because I feel like I could read any of the books that I've chosen outdoors. I don't normally read outdoors during the summertime, although the weather can be really nice and great for reading sometimes because I hate bugs. Mosquitoes and flies and all the ants and stuff I hate them and they're everywhere and I hate bug spray and I just I mean I'll I, I, I'll do it but you know I just I don't prefer to read outside during the summertime because of that oh I hate bugs for challenge number six which is to read a book you bought because of the cover I chose Purgatory Kabuki by Yasushi Suzuki and this is actually a graphic novel or well, it's a manga but yeah look at that cover it is absolutely beautiful and I just it's so stinking nice I have no friggin clue what this is about I picked it up because the cover is so stinking beautiful and I didn't look up the reviews for it or anything. I actually just looked up reviews for it the other day and it doesn't have the best ratings on Goodreads. Um, I didn't really read the reviews so I don't know why, but I also found out that this is the only book in this series. Well, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a series or not. It has volume one on it, so that would lead you to believe that it is supposed to be a series. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is like, so it's it's it can be considered a standalone. Yeah, but this art, this art is amazing. The last three books I have don't fall into any specific category, they're just to make an even seven. So I have another graphic novel which is Shaman Warrior Volume 1 by Park Joon Gi. Look at that. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. And the last book is The Light of the Fireflies by Paul Penn, which I don't have a physical copy of, so I will be listening to the audiobook format. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Bless me. So these are my book Tubathon picks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time.